It's Tech Lid with the latest news and rumors. A while back, it was circulating that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra would not be released. Well, it turns out that a few weeks later, new rumors have surfaced. Indeed, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra probably is releasing after all. The first thing that immediately jumps at us with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the display size. The display size is a Wally Mammoth whopping 6.9 inch display. This is the same display that was found on the S20 Ultra. Same display size. So what does this mean in terms of what's going on with Samsung? Well, in my opinion, Samsung is pushing out bigger and bigger screens to the point where something like a foldable phone will be easily adopted for the masses. If you keep making phones bigger and bigger, what will eventually happen is that we have a large whopping screen and you will want to have it be more compact. So how do you accomplish that? Well, it's pretty easy. You make that huge screen and you make it so that the phone can fold. Once you have that huge screen in your hands and you make it fold so that it becomes more compact, it will be more adapted for the masses. Another key ingredient for this display is of course the 120 hertz display, which by the way is an LTPO display. What does LTPO mean? Well basically, for the display, what happens with the refresh rate is that instead of staying constantly at 120 hertz, which could potentially cause big battery drain, it kind of fixes itself automatically. So if you're doing something that doesn't require 120 hertz, it will downscale the hertz so that you can save on battery. And plus, the caveat is that if it isn't necessary, it just isn't necessary. So what we also see here is what's looking to be like two versions of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. We have a configuration of 128 gigabytes of storage along with 512 gigabytes of storage. One will come with the 12 gigabytes of RAM and the other will be coupled with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm guessing that the lower storage will be reserved for 12 gigabytes of RAM, while the higher 512 of storage will be reserved for 16 gigabytes of RAM. In plain English, what does this really mean? Well, you're getting a phone that will have no issues when it comes to performance, cause it is coupled with the Snapdragon 865. You are going to get a certified proven beast of a phone. It's going to handle everything that you throw at it with ease. Samsung does what Samsung does. The Galaxy Note, of course, will come with the S Pen. The S Pen is glorified for doing all the things that one can imagine in terms of media and even simple use. It will come with improved sensors as it does every year. Now, one of the things that we have to talk about here is that 45 watt charging battery. The 45 watts is insanely fast, so you'll be able to charge your phone in no time. What we don't like is the battery size though, 4,500 milliamps of battery. The battery life I feel could have been at least 5,000 minimum, a little higher if we're being ambitious. But it is what it is. I guess with the faster charging here, we're going to have to just settle for that. Of course, Samsung doing what Samsung does. What can we expect with the camera? Well, here it goes. 108 megapixel sensor. What was found on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. This will be found on the Note 20 Ultra. However, I'm pretty sure that Samsung will have a few tweaks to make it better. I'm sure it will be a better performer. 
historically what Samsung does with the S series and then with the Note series, they kind of refine anything that needs to be refined. So more than likely you can expect a better camera with the Note. Also, what is going on with the front camera? Well, 40 megapixels. I think that's more than enough to have your beautiful selfies. Of course, with all of these beastly specs, we can expect one thing from Samsung. The price of the phone. It is not going to be a price that most people like, I believe. I think we're going to stay in that $1,400 range, which is a bit unreasonable for the average consumer. But Samsung is proving that it is not for the average consumer when it comes to these super premium phones. You're going to have to dish out that hard earned money to get those big guns with the toys. So what do I suggest here for those of you looking for that Samsung experience that is ultra premium? Well, how about you take a look at the Galaxy S20 Ultra when the Note 20 Ultra releases. Why is this? Because the phone will probably be discounted by then. That is just one alternative for those of you who want that Note 20 Ultra but probably don't want to fork out the money. I can't say I blame you in that case. Let me know in the comments section if you're gonna get that Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Once again, subscribe to the channel Give a big thumbs up to the video. Any thoughts, comments, opinions down below in that comment section. Peace and love to the Tech Lid Legion.